you're also reminding me of one of my uh, favorite guests who was on the show who wrote a book called The End of Alzheimer's. And he identified um, five different types of Alzheimer's. And two of them are most notable here. One is uh, toxic mold and fungal toxins. The other one was heavy metals. Is there a role for heavy metal poisoning affecting mitochondria in your theory, or is this just a fungal theory? Um, yeah, well, well here's, here's the beauty of, of the theory, uh, is that fungal pathogens absorb particular um, heavy metals. They do indeed. <laughs> so, um, if you have a heavy metal toxicity involved in your body, it's, it's normally a reflection of uh, systemic fungal infection to a certain degree. Um, and of course, you have fungal die off when you're also trying to treat uh, fun fungal disease, which can be a problem because you get a, a release of mycotoxins as well as the heavy metals that those fungal pathogens were absorbing. Um, but I, I would just like to say that um, saying that I'm saying that my theory is about fungal pathogens being the underlying cause of cancer, um, I don't want to give the wrong impression that um, antifungal drugs are the answer. They, they certainly have a place, but um, I shall need to emphasize that they're quite toxic. So you'd still, anyone listening to this, any of your listeners listening to this, uh, would need to still see, uh, talk to it. Thank you for, for saying that. And I, I should have said that as well. The first thing I would do would be go on Spornox. Um, I would also immediately do um, ozone therapy to restart Oxfos in my cells. And I would see a cancer specialist, a, a functional uh, cancer specialist, and I would look at the Western approaches in combination with reducing toxin formation and toxin things. So I'm, uh, I would just encourage you if you're saying, "Oh, I have, I know I have cancer," I'm going to rely on meditation, which I would also do, or I'm going to take you know some kind of herbs or whatever. Um, if you want to do that you need to get a cancer scan so you can see if it's working every month or two. And most people I've seen who decide they're going to go with the natural only approach don't monitor it because they just kind of don't want to know. And that can be a fatal decision. 